Welcome to Uncle Jay's Canteen. Now, people have been telling me that they feel very sad and frustrated during 2020 because they cannot travel anywhere because of the pandemic. But I tell them, you know, even though you cannot travel overseas, but you can still learn how to cook food from there. You cannot fly there, but you can taste the food from there. Uh, that's what we're going to do for this series. We are going to learn how to make simple international food that even people like me with zero cooking skills can do it without burning down the kitchen. Uh, so today I'm very very happy to have my friend from Sri Lanka, Nelumi, to teach me how to make simple Sri Lankan food. Let's welcome Nelumi! Hi, uh, so I'm Nelumi and I'm from Colombo, Sri Lanka. Uh, I just graduated from the University of Hong Kong. Today I'll be teaching you very simple, two simple dishes which you can make uh, as a Sri Lankan breakfast. So I'll be making a milk rice which is called kiribat in Sinhala and I'll also be making roti which is like a flat bread and we call it pol roti in Sinhala and to eat these together we'll be making a side dish called sini sambal. So kiribat, pol roti, sini sambal. Yes. In your opinion, do you think it's easy? Roti is quite easy. Kiribat, you need a bit more attention because it's rice, so you need to pay a lot of attention till it cooks. But they are both very easy and the roti is quite fun to make actually, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. For the milk rice, you need um, uh, you need rice, but you need to be careful, the rice has to stick together. And we also use coconut milk, uh, we, we use flour for the roti. We have desiccated coconut, so if you have fresh coconut, freshly grated coconut, it's perfect for the roti. But since uh, it's a bit hard to find ingredients, desiccated coconut, uh, we use desiccated coconut for roti and we have some cinnamon, sugar, uh, some uh, big on white onions, you can also use red onions, smaller uh, onions, salt, chili powder and coconut milk. So we use this for kiribat and also for the desiccated coconut milk for our roti. We have some oil, you can use coconut oil or like we have corn oil, oh. but um, I think coconut oil would be also good. Ingredients look simple enough for me. For the the kiribat milk rice, do you eat them every day or? Is it... Uh, we don't. Uh, in my in my family, we don't eat it uh, every day, but we uh, eat it a lot for like on weekends because um, it takes some time to cook. So we eat it on weekends, and it's also very popular on like our celebratory days, whether it's like the first of the year or like um, sometimes on your birthday or like our New Year celebrations. So it's a very celebratory food, but um, it goes well for like a really good breakfast. So a bit of a more special thing. Yes. Right? Yeah. So it's like uh, it's almost like me traveling to Sri Lanka and celebrating a, a festival by eating a uh, milk rice. <laughs> you have to try it if you go to Sri Lanka. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. And Nelumi, what should we begin first? What kind of food should we start off first? Because the rice has to cook for some time, so let's start off with the milk rice. Okay, let's start off with the milk rice. What should we do? Please teach me. Uh, so we first have to um, wash the rice. Is it too much? No, 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 two cups. Oh, two cups. Oh, I saw the two ounce. This is one cup. Yeah, I think two it's cup. Good. Wow. Okay, and then? Wash it like like this. Yeah, like make a Stir. make it like zigzag. Zigzag. Oh, okay. I, I do it zigzag because it's okay. fast. You need to wash it out. This white color. Uh, this. I think you have to wash it twice. Oh, I feel like we actually it looks very yeah cloudy. Yeah. Right? Over here we wash our rice and we drain not with a colander. In Sri Lanka, do you use this water to do anything? No. It's, oh, I, uh, yeah, we don't actually. Oh, as I remember, my mom will use this to water the plants. Oh, okay. And they say like this water is actually very good for the plants. Yeah. So you just wash it. Wash again, see that? I I do it quite fast. So I just like. <laughs> oh, okay. I scared the water will come. What do you think of my skills? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound very good, <laughs> but okay. Is it your first time? It's my first time washing rice, actually. Wow. <laughs> my thirty years of my life is my first time washing rice on the cooking show. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's okay. How much do I drink? I think it's called polish. I didn't know. Oh. That. Almost dropped the whole rice into the bowl. And we put it here now. Okay. Let's pour everything in. Right? Yeah. To add water, you need to add a bit more water to this. So, so it's a bit more like a between rice and congee. Yeah. How much how much do I add for um, oh, this estimate? Basically you put in the water and then you use your one of your fingers 
and then you measure. How, how do you measure? Okay. Let me put some water. Okay, so up. Nelumi is, is Nelumi has enough of my cooking skills. He's gonna take over. <laughs> no, I'll just measure. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, give me the measuring cup. I will do it. Oh. Yeah, you can use your pinky finger and then you dip it. Okay. And then um, it has to come like, like maybe like here, like just above your. The first joint. Like also. in between. Or halfway here. Yeah. Oh. So for normal rice, I do the same dipping thing and it's usually like up to this line but for this you need a bit more. A bit more. more. Oh, yeah. okay. So if it's two cups rice, then you use this. Yeah. Or no matter how many cups you also use. Yeah, no matter how oh. many cups. Oh. We are trying out at uh, 180 degrees, 120. 1000. 120. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, 800 watts. You start letting it cook for a bit. And you need to let, let it cook till the water drains. So we will keep looking at this and make sure that the water sinks to the Yeah, then water. the rice looks pretty cooked. I'm very happy that I didn't be here because otherwise I will burn the rice for sure. I don't even know what she's talking about right now. Roti, so what onions do I use? So we use the small onions. Maybe I think two of them would be perfect. Two of them? Yeah, so... Okay, now can you show me how to cut? Yeah, so <laughs> you need to cut like slices this is actually quite big so it needs to be thin slice yeah, yeah. you can this is nelumi's cutting i hope i don't cut myself how to cut the end oh because uh, <laughs> it gets mixed so my mom would disown me if she sees me cooking like this yeah onions are a bit hard and you start crying out <laughs> <laughs> so far, I'm not crying, but we can. Maybe uh, the uh, small one. A smaller one. Yeah. My hands are shaking. Master, do you think this is? Okay? I think this is enough. Yes. My, my cutting skills is up to standard. E I think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that perfect with cutting onions oh, too. Okay. okay. Now we make the dough. It's the most fun part. Around two hundred fifty grams. Another two cups. Is yeah one cup, second cup. So we usually use fresh coconut, but since we don't have fresh coconut here, we have to use desiccated coconut. But mm. please use uh, unsweetened ones. Whole roti, it tastes better when you add like more coconut. So if you can add, just like add. Don't add like a lot, lot, but <laughs> obviously there has to be more flour content. We can add the um, coconut milk. Okay. Uh, you need to shake it up. First. Oh, yes, shake. Okay. This coconut milk tastes different from fresh coconut milk. <laughs> so this you don't want to make it like too soupy. You just add it till like it just soaks up. So you don't want it to be like too much of like coconut milk. So I think it's good to like keep adding slowly. Uh, so the idea is to get it a bit like wet. Yeah, because fresh coconut milk has that wet um, texture. Uh, right? yes, but you need yes. to let this sit for a while actually. For the flour dough, we add coconut, grated onions. onions. So we need to like make a squish it a bit with your hands. Like oh, so now like separate okay. oil and salt. Half oh, like just smash it up. Yeah, don't crush, but like, like slightly. Oh, this is my favorite part of the cooking. Using getting my hands dirty. So that's what you mean by the water coming down. Yeah. Oh, I love massaging the onions. Anias must love me a lot. Off you go, slide into the swimming pool. Go, go, go. Okay, okay. Maybe l less. I didn't actually, this is good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like quarter spoon of. <laughs> you know, everything I think that's good, yeah. you show off a little bit. So the rice is like getting cooked, if you can see. Oh. The rice. Oh. But it needs to cook more. Oh, okay, okay. So you can. So no need to drain with the colander and, uh, and uh, wash the rice again, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's move on to this, and let's add the coconut now. I think it's good. Okay. So now we will add the the coconut, the coconut which is here. Put everything in. Yeah. Okay. Maybe um, let's put like half. Oh, okay. Quarter. Seems like. Cooking, you need a lot of patience. You cannot just dump everything in and mix together. Like, like half a teaspoon? So at this point, we don't have to add any water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Sure. Just to get the texture. If you only put onions, but you can also put green pepper, green chili. You just slice it and you can put it. But if you're using, uh, I didn't add here because it can get a bit spicy. So just get like, maybe like one or two green, like the full green chili. The small one. Right? Yes, yeah. and then you cut it and then oh. like slice it and you can put it so it gets like spicier. Based on what my mom told me, the smaller the chili, the spicier it is. So, uh, I think it, I've heard it too. You heard it too, yeah. right? So no matter whether it's Singapore or Sri Lanka, our moms say the same thing. Yeah. So the rice is still a bit more to mm. cook. I think in like one or two minutes, you can add the coconut milk. It has like the water has sort of like um, sunk in. So it's time to put the coconut milk now. So you take uh, the coconut milk and you add it till the whole top layer is covered with coconut milk so i'm just going to keep adding till like the whole top layer is covered with coconut milk salt yes so like half a teaspoon should be good. and you have to spread it around right just a bit yeah okay so if you can see it's quite like a liquidy texture because of the coconut milk so you need to let this coconut milk boil like let the coconut milk um, heat up and so i already mixed it then what should we do next so let's add uh water now so what i usually do is like i keep adding slowly so you don't put too much water oh okay so i'm just gonna add a bit and then you can it's start mixing just cold water right yeah and then i mix like this basically you try to make a dough like ah! Do some exercise, alright. So it has a very nice uh, smell, like onion and the onion, onion is quite and, uh, strong. Yeah. Aha. Uncle Jay can also make. I think that's good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's take oh. the. <laughs> oh my back. Oh. This. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. and then the now you just size. keep it oh. in press. Oh. Like get into a nice shape. Oh. So we are making smaller rotis today, but if you want, you can just like make one big one, like you're done. But like, I think small ones are cute. How much would this usually cost me buy on the street? Around 25, I think. Rupees. I'm not sure if that, yeah, like rupees. rupees. Like, oh. it's pretty cheap. You can just make like one or two and then you can stop cooking. Okay. So after some time, both Nanumi and I, we uh, flattened the dough and uh, it looked pretty nice. Ah! Just so that it doesn't stick, it soaks up a bit, but yeah, so you just want a bit and then oh. I think you can put two in one okay. pan, since it's small, so it's going to be like this, and it cook a bit and then okay. you flip it. Okay. Yeah. Oh. The, it's the coconut milk has all been like shrunken in and cooked. Let's give it like one more minute and then. So it's all absorbed into the rice and it's very sticky. Yeah, it's it's like a very sticky texture. Oh. And then you let this cool down for like two or three minutes. Uh, let's let it cool down. Okay, so we'll put it at the side and let it cool down first. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the roti. Let's now. move on to the roti. Yes. Oh, I can already start to smell the the fried. Uh, the fry, I don't know how to explain this, but the fryness of fry. So it's not like, you can get it a bit more cooked. So we have to leave it there a little bit yeah. more. So the, the, the end, the bottom part should be a bit brown. Brown. Oh, oh it smells so good. The onions, The right? onion smell in the, wow, fantastic. Yeah, I think you can flip. Oh, we can flip. Okay. Then that one is okay. Yeah. Do the flipping. I got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Almost fell out. You want the flour to cook? <laughs> oh. So like inside that you want Yeah, inside the inside has to cook. Right. Onto the plate. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. We will leave this aside and let it dry up a little bit and then we can uh, cut into pieces. Right? Wow, this looks so nice. And we can put the oil first. Because this onion has to like cook and like fry. Oh. Tell me when to start. That's enough. Oh, okay, okay. Chili powder. What chili powder? Is this normal chili powder or like? Oh, a... uh, this is homemade. My mom makes it at home actually. Oh. So I bring it every time I come. Like all the spices, my mom makes it. Like it's chili 
the, she buys the dried chili, dried chili uh-huh. she washes it and dries it again and like grinds it oh. on a plate. Two to three of these spoons mm. depending on how spicy you want it to be. Mm. So I keep stirring. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. It's gonna smell a bit strong, so. <laughs> oh, it smells so nice. Oh. Once the chili comes, it's gonna come a bit strong. So I, you can add uh, more chili powder if you want, but I'm just gonna add two for now. If you got uh, like just to make sure oh. that everyone can eat. So onions first, and then we add a bit of chili. Yeah, and you already cook, and you add the sugar at the end. Oh. Let's add some salt too. Okay. Are you satisfied with my frying skills? Good. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we use the white onion today, but I think it's better if you can get the red onion because you want a, like a very dark brown colored taste at the end. Mm. Yeah. Let's add sugar and so that it can cook for some time. Okay. Whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. So we have a cheap skit. We have a lot of leftover sugar. We just use it. We are done with our uh, uh, onion. Uh, what's it called again? Sini sambo. Sini sambo, right? Uh, looks really good. This will be a, a, a kind of like a side dish we put. Yeah. So the... if you use red onions, it's gonna be like dark brown. It should look so much so better. No, Lumi, can you share with us while you're cooking as well? Like, uh, for example, the roti. Uh, do people actually buy outside to eat? Is it very common or, 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 or if you buy outside, people will say that like, you are lazy? <laughs> no, so actually the roti outside uh, is tastes like it has a very different flavor and it's really like popular. Especially like there's these small like vendors on like streets, which is quite popular, like the small vendors. So a lot of people get outside too, uh, but like it's quite easy to make at home. So we like do both, so oh. there's no like like there's a very different taste when you cook at home and eat out. So um, everyone likes both, and like it's quite easy. So it's all good. So do you buy those roti and then you eat on the street, or you actually bring back to like your school or the office to eat? Or... You, you, I think some shops are like if you can sit in here, yeah, but I take it out and oh. we sometimes get takeaway and like I eat at home. Oh, okay. Or like okay. um. In, in my family, it's quite popular. Like when we go like on road trips or something, I love to like try from like small vendors outside on the street. So this is like I like to treat roti like like on the like on a like a trip and like we oh. eat in the car. Oh, so it becomes like a roti trip. Basically. Yeah. So and like in shops, they uh, eat with a different chili paste, and oh. so it, it's it's more spicy with the chili paste. This is actually less spicy. Yeah. What's the thing that you miss most about Sri Lanka? Definitely the food, oh. because um, there's not a lot of Sri Lankan restaurants in Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. So like food um, is one thing I miss the most. And I think the whole like living, not like in apartments, but more like flat land, like more spaced out. So <laughs> it was a bit of a shock when I first came here. Oh, like, right, suddenly everywhere. Like, yeah, there's more the greenery and like spacious. So. Oh. So in Sri Lanka, you guys live more like houses. Yes. Like, yeah. Like, oh, but what's the like? If you had to recommend the audience you know, to try one of the, the your your most your favorite food from Sri Lanka, what would that be? Mm, so we have like we eat rice with a lot of side dishes. Mm-hmm. So there's like some like really good side dishes which I really love. Like um, we have this side dish made from jackfruit. Do you know jackfruit? Yeah, it's a yeah, very Asian. Yeah. We have so many curries made out of that. Jackfruit curry? Yeah, it's super good. So if you go to Sri Lanka, try to have, um, it's called Polos uh, Malum or Polos curry um, like in Polos like restaurant. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, um, it's jackfruit but not the ripe one. So it's like the unripe jackfruit. You can make curry, so it's so good. Like Whenever I go home for holidays, my mom always tries to make it. <laughs> Isn't it sweet then? Like jackfruit is sweet. No, so you make it into this really dark brown, red, reddish, spicy curry. So and actually you can have it with pearl roti too. And like I've had it with kiba. Oh, so it's, it's one very, of the salt. One of these. Yeah, you dishes. can have it as a side. Yeah. Oh. 
or with like just plain rice. So when you when you eat outside in Sri Lanka, is it so you guys have a you just order the rice and then you pick the side dishes that you want. In a buffet, yeah. In a yeah. Bu- buffet. Okay. Yeah, like I mean, restaurants have like takeaway rice, and you just like pick. But for me, takeaway, I actually eat like Chinese fried rice, you know, because we try to eat something different from like what we eat at home. Oh, we get takeaway. Right, right. We right. get takeaway roti too, and uh, there's a lot of um, like other kinds of food, which is a, takes a bit more time. So you try to get takeaway. Mm, mm. Ah, I see, I see. To make it easier. Right? Yeah, rice right. and curry we don't usually get takeaway in my family at least. Oh. Yeah. So this is our finished uh, product. Okay. How should we eat this? Um you can take a piece of roti into your hand and you like break it into a piece and then you just take a bit of it. I mean you just use your hands to eat roti and like milk rice and everything. And then you like uh, like it, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, eating my yeah my roti. How how does it taste like? Hmm, it's good. Oh, <laughs> spicy than expected. Okay. No, it's a bit spicy. It's a bit spicy. Okay, I don't actually need Lumi did a lot of the cooking, but I'm gonna claim credit and say it's very good. Wait, so there's onion here, and then you put onion inside. <laughs> so the whole thing is full of onion. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> How is it? Mm, the coconut taste, uh, the, the desiccated coconut. Now you have to have the, the, uh, the, onion. the onion and then you have the spiciness and then the sweetness and you mix together. I never knew that like, roti can be mixed with something a bit sweet mm. and it still tastes so good. Um, but this is really delicious and then the coconut brings out the whole flavor. Uh, so. So that's why it's called, this is called po roti, right? Yeah, and because you put the coconut in it. And po is onion. No. <laughs> po means coconut. Ah. Po is coconut. Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Coconut and roti. Roti. Is, roti is like flat bread. Flat bread. Roti, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, you can taste uh, my product first. you think? There's a stronger smell of the coconut in the rice. But it really brings out the, the flavor. Even though there's coconut in the whole roti and the coconut milk in the in the rice, but actually the two of them taste completely different. And then when you mix together with the uh the sambo, the sini sambo. Uh, it has a very it has a completely different taste to it. You have been a very good teacher to me. Someone with zero skills. Does it remind you of home after eating this? Yeah, I haven't had milk rice or roti since I left home. Like, I don't cook this um, quite mm. often even in Hong Kong, so yeah. So, would you say uh, I have succeeded in making you miss home? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay. If you really want, um, this we will have the the recipe up on the on our on our comments and our description, <coughs> and then uh, try to make it yourself. Let us know in the comments uh, or you know Facebook message us uh, or, or on our YouTube. Let us know how it goes, um, and also let us know what other kind of dishes you would like to learn. Uh, if you want to know more about Sri Lanka, you can also um, write in the comment below, and then. Um, Nelumi and we will and, and I will try to uh, answer as many of your questions as possible. Right, but there's there's uh, me, Jay, Uncle Jay, and this Nelumi from Sri Lanka, and we will say goodbye. And how do you say goodbye? In, uh, <coughs> how do you say goodbye in Sinhala? You say like Tata bye. Tata bye. Like, so like a very casual, casual way. Yeah, so yeah like we casual, say Tata like. bye or just Tata. Okay. Okay, the one, two, three, ta-ta-bye!